another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well today in this video we're gonna solve this problem best time to buy and sell stock so let's start by reading the problem you are given an array prices when prices at index i is the price of a given stock and the index day so you want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock return the maximum profit you can achieve from this transaction if you cannot achieve achieve any profit return zero so to solve this problem let's say this list is a list of price of tesla stock if you bought a tesla stock one day for seven dollars and then sold it on day four for three dollars you make a profit of negative five dollars per tesla stock so the problem is what the optimal day to buy and then sell to make the maximum profit and the day you sell must always be after the day you bought it so for the brute force approach we're gonna use a nested for loop and for every element we traverse the rest part of the array and find the profit using price g minus is price i and keep comparing to find the maximum profit but since for every element you will have to traverse the rest part of the array the time complexity is gonna be all fan square but the optimal approach will use only one loop to solve this problem means we're gonna iterate throughout the list just one time so we're gonna iterate throughout this list and for each number we need to find the smallest before it and then subtract it from it for example we have seven and one so we're gonna buy at the price one and at the next iteration we're gonna compare one to five so we compare one to five and we subtract five from one so the maximum profit that we can make is four dollars so let's look at the code the first thing we're gonna do is to create a variable that's gonna hold the maximum profit and then we declare a variable called cheapest price that at first gonna be the first value inside the list after that we start looping over the list of the price starting at index one so we can compare the current price and also the cheapest price that we declared first so we compare the current price to the cheapest price if it's smaller we update the cheapest to be the current price then we calculate the current profit to be the current price minus the cheapest price. The example that I say before, 5 minus 1. And after that we update the max profit to be the max between the max profit and the current price. And finally we return the max profit. So guys this problem is an easy problem we don't need to like uh, add more explanation i don't like to do like others do just waste your time so for the time complexity it's all fan because we are looping over the lists of prices and for the space complexity is all fun because there is no extra space thanks for watching see you in the next video